to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly Taroscope reading for Taurus for the month of December 2016. I just want to thank all you guys out there for liking and subscribing to my YouTube channel. I thoroughly enjoy it. Again, this is for Taurus. Monthly Taroscope reading for December. 2016. Let's see what the month holds for you. For my lovely Tauruses, my fellow Tauruses, my fellow Earth sign. Let's Great reading right here. Nothing to complain about. Everything's looking good. Let's see. Okay, guys. Uh, happiness and money this month. We've got cups and a major arcane card and pinnacle cards. Great reading. Let's talk about this Queen of Cups. I tell you right now, no intuition is better than uh, the Queen of Cups. She is pure force of water, and her connection with the subconscious is rivaled only to the highest priestess. Uh, she is often like a mirror reflecting the hidden depths of others back to them, so they can see their own mysteries for themselves. However, you see this cup right here is closed. And her own secrets remain invisible to all, even to herself sometimes. <sighs> How hardly ever manifesting as an event. That's just hardly ever she's going to manifest as an event. The Queen of Cups is almost always found either in people near you or in yourself. And I know this is just a general so this could be re referring to you guys too also. Uh, Queen of Cups is a real world. Queen of Cups in the real world feels right at home in the realm of the subconscious. So those that are on your uh, spiritual journey or your spiritual quest or your higher vibrations and your, you know, to obtain more enlightenment. Uh, Though she is not a psychic, she will possess extraordinary insights in the mo motivations and behaviors of others. So you may be able to read other people, you know, instinctively. You may have that gift. She's a gifted counselor or a healer. She's uh, This person right here is ready to provide a shoulder to cry on or a hand to hold whenever it needed. So you may know this person or this person could be you. And this person, the Queen of Cups, she is uh, by almost all standards, uh, she's beautiful, but her beauty is the purity of her spirit. And she definitely has the ability to attract others. Again, like I said, uh, this person here is very, um, you may not be psychic, but she's very intuitive. Uh, she's a person that can help you out. This could be you, or you may know somebody that's like this that you can go to and talk to when needed. She's always there to help you, so make sure you seek out this person uh, that will help you through this month for December. She's a great person to have in your uh, in your corner, on your side. Always there to help you and guide you. Let's 
take a look at the sun. It's one of the most predominant cards uh, in the tarot deck, and that it is uh, the card of completion and success. It can be heralded as joy and happiness, and it can also represent the birth of a child. Can uh, definitely going to have um, a, represents a stable family. Definitely going to have material prosperity this month, um, and anything else that's positive going on uh, this month is definitely going to come to fruition if you've been waiting on something it shows completion so i don't know if you've been waiting on a job or a, a, the right business move or the right move to a new place whatever it is it's going to be completed this month um, this is a period of light and relaxation um, you should enjoy that this month and success will come if you're confident and bold in the use of your creative energy this month. So definitely a great card to have. Material reward and gain. And here you are celebrating this sun card right here with the three of cups. A great card to have. It's this card of true power of the groups. You are definitely going to be celebrating with somebody. And this could be people of all ages and all walks of life together. Coming together to celebrate some kind of achievement or a common goal, which is seen right here in the sun. And you will be seeking out other people to help you celebrate this success. Because success is coming with the sun. And again, that can also, you may be celebrating some weddings. It could be uh, pertaining to other events that's happening this month. Anniversaries, parties, definitely parties going on this month. Baby showers, community festivities, whatever's happening, you're going to be celebrating. Whether it's coming from the sun, it's all good this month for you guys. Um... You're going to be enjoy um, the company of your loved ones and friends this month. And you're also going to um, have the support of your friends. Some of your friends may be going through some kind of battle. that I'm getting here. But just know there's a sure sign of, of success there with that. And be sure to count your blessings. And be thankful for everything and everything and everyone uh, and all your accomplishments this month because you are really this is a major, major card this month for you. And here you are down here looking at your business again. You've reached some kind of goal or completion. And now you're down here. You, you've reaped the rewards. You did your celebration. You are happy at where you are with your career or money or material gain. Uh, you may own your own business. And now you're stepping back and taking a look at just exactly what you have accomplished this year. You are very happy. You're satisfied. And now you're thinking about what can be the next level or the next goal to improve what you've already created. You've already got the foundation. You're already making money. Um, or you've already, and this could be, if you don't have your own business, could be a job-wise. You may be ready to go to the next level. You may be ready for the next level. You may be already been offered a new position to raise your status in your job. And you're just taking a step back 
again, like I said, be thankful, be grateful. You know, count your blessings. Because this is a great reading for December. And you're definitely going up. This is a great reading for the end of the year. So, know that uh, next year, January, only holds, you know, a greater vision. Especially when it comes to material gain in your business or money-wise. Because here you are looking, looking at what you've accomplished. You're very satisfied. You're very happy at where you are right now. And now you just want to move up and move higher and take it to a great level. And you can do that. Okay, Tars. I hope this helps you in your journey through life. Blessings, my friend.